Welcome to another video and this is something different to the property world. It's 30 questions and it's continuous. There's no stopping. Yep. And it's whatever comes to your mind. You've not been shown the questions. Nope. So we're going to kick it right off. Go for Number it. one, why Tedge Talks? Uh, because I wanted it to be memorable and it to have two T's in it and for people to know that I am talking and sharing value. What got you into property? Uh, listening to podcasts that aren't as good as mine, listening, going to networking events, meeting people and wanting assets that are going to pay me for life. How have you found your property journey so far? Uh, incredibly stressful, uh, very hard work, but very, very rewarding at the end of it. Describe yourself in three words. Uh, handsome, intelligent and confident. I like that. That was pretty good. <laughs> You like yourself, don't you? <laughs> right, next one. Crypto, what's been your best coin? Uh, I would say Solana or Cardano. Okay. What's your favourite thing to eat? Oh, Italian food and Punjabi food. Okay. Favourite car? It would have to be the Koningsegg CCX or the Koningsegg Regera. Big cars. Yeah. Very big cars. Cu couple mil, you know, just to use. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. What is YouTube to you in one word? Or describe YouTube in one word? Educational. Okay. What do you think about me? Honest. Nice. Three favorite people in the property world? Ooh. Uh, I would say Property by Kazi. Yep. My builder, Craig Davies. And it would have to be one of my friends, Charlotte, yeah. Thoughts on HMOs? Uh, lots of hard work with tenants, in, you know, great cash flow, potential issues with council tax banding, um, but a great investment for the right person. Favorite property strategy? BRR for vanilla by toilets. Favorite or best location in the UK that you think to invest? Somewhere up north, perhaps even Scotland. People don't realise it's an hour flight away from London. It's a lot closer than Liverpool or Yorkshire. If you could build a property for yourself, what location would you choose? What's your dream place? It'd probably be similar to where we are now, Hertfordshire, middle of the countryside, fields all around me, no humans, lots of sheep, lots of cows, that's heaven. What's your goal? To continue being happy. And what's your strategy to get there? To continue finding peace inside myself, to continue being content with the world, to have a certain drive for more, but to balance it with being grateful for what I currently have. Keep or sell your assets? Historically keep. Favourite colour? <laughs> um, it's actually yellowy orange. Oh, okay. So it's similar to this, but it's yep. got a bit more orange in it. Favourite YouTuber doesn't have to be property. Oh, uh, I really like Ali Abdal, I think. He does like life and book reviews and how to do stuff and just kind of a guide to being a better person and opening businesses. He's pretty cool. I like Athlean X, which is like a health and fitness one. Uh, and uh, Diary of a CEO by Stephen. Okay. I really like that one as well. I think everyone likes Stephen, don't they? Everyone likes Stephen, yeah. Yep. yeah, yeah. Oh, and the property circle. Paid, apparently. <laughs> don't Hashtag know. ad, yeah. Yep. Favourite film? Oh, it's probably Disney's Encanto. Oh, okay. Incredible, honestly, work of art. I didn't expect that. Yeah, no. <laughs> Favourite actor? Oh, or I, actress? Um, Denzel. Okay. I think he's like, again, everyone's favourite. <laughs> and the way he speaks as well, off camera. Everything. Very motivational, Everything. very inspirational. Just Denzel, full I, stop. I really like him. What are you watching right now? Uh, David Attenborough's program on dinosaurs. Okay. Thoughts on rent to rent? I think it can be a really good strategy when you're starting out. Uh, it has long-term risks with you losing the asset or being issues with tenancies, things like that. It is shown to be a lot easier than it actually is. Can be a full-time job, but I think it's a good strategy for beginners. Thoughts on deal sources? Uh, deal sources? Yes, not sourcing, deal sources that you have encountered. Can I swear? You can say anything you want. It's an Dick open channel. Heads, most of them. Okay, two um, of them are behind the camera. 
<laughs> I'm only joking, boys. I'm only joking. <laughs> there are some exceptions. Yep. Uh, just sending bad deal packs, bad comparables, overcharging for stuff that is right in front of me on right move, not even sold STC, blah, blah. Just lots of crap, okay. historically. What makes you so confident? Uh, I just don't care. I just don't care about okay. what anyone thinks, what, what happens, because I'm content, I'm happy, I'm going to continue being there. I don't need money, I don't need anything. It's just, I suppose, being grateful for life as well. That's a good answer. What's your thoughts on the market right now, today? Oof, it is hot. Like, you know, uh, things are going overpriced. Things are very difficult to find. Supply and demand is, uh, is fighting big time with each other. Okay. Um, a lot of bounce back loans, furlough, kind of going into the property market. Crypto gains going into it. I think it's tough. Tougher okay. than when I started. Yeah, it's very tough at the minute, isn't it? Very difficult. It's very difficult for people like us who are actually trying to buy properties to make it turn. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's not just your people who have got a little bit of money from certain things that you've just mentioned who want to be property investors. Yeah, even trying to find my own residential house, it's taken, it's, yeah, it's difficult. Okay. What's the biggest problem you've had in your property journey so far? Builders. One that sticks out in your mind. Builders, just generally having six refurbs on at once, 200 miles away, trying to deal with builders who are out of control themselves, it's out of control for me. It was hell, mentally, physically, everything was hell. If you could go back to the beginning, mm -hmm. what's one thing you would tell yourself? Buy more houses. <laughs> um, I bought 15 in my first nine months, like with investor funds, yep. and I thought I, that was all right, but then the market shifted dramatically. So looking back, I should have bought more. And the final question, piece of advice to anybody starting out in the property world, because to me, you are very experienced. So what piece of advice can you give to somebody at home who's watching this? Understand what you're doing and how you're going to do it. So if you're doing a refurb, you're not a builder, cool, but understand construction, understand so that the wall can't be pulled over your eyes. You're doing auctions, okay, you're not a solicitor, but understand legal packs, you know, to an extent, understand these issues. You know, you're gonna be growing a business. Well, what does that look like? Um, you know, you need to network as well, but understanding everything is so important. You can't jump in blind. You can't just, oh, Homes Under the Hammer, they just did it and it was, it's all lies. Like, you have to thoroughly be educated and understand what you're doing and not just jump in. There you have it, 30 questions. Thank you.